In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add and scale a floor plan map in the Unify controller. Hi, my name is Tony, and if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. Let's hop over to the computer and get started with today's video. Okay guys, I'm signed into my lab controller and you can see everything is great 100%. All I have in this controller in the lab is a USG, a US 60 watt PoE switch and a G3 camera. Let's move over to the left side and click on the maps icon. And by default, it shows us topology view of the network. So again, I just have the lab USG, the 60 watt switch, and now connected to the switch, you can see my 5K iMac, my G3 camera, and the cloud key Gen 2 Plus. So let's come over here and click where it says topology and select floor plan. And you can see we have a sample floor plan in the system. Let's take a second to go over the interface. We have labels, which we're going to talk about shortly. You have the different radios where you can filter your 2G and 5G devices. Under layers, we can look at coverage topology, both in the 2G and the 5G band. You can add your new floor plan by clicking here, which we're going to do in a second. And you could also edit floor plans that are in the system. So that being said, before we add the new floor plan, let's just quickly come over here and we can resize the floor plans by simply clicking on the plus and minus buttons. Here we can place devices. You'll see you have your adopted devices and then you also have what's called virtual devices. So if you haven't purchased access points yet, you can actually place virtual devices on the map to get an idea of what the coverage will be like and what coverage options are available to you. And then finally, we have the option to set the floor plan scale. So that being said, now let's come up to the add new floor plan button and click that. Here we have a couple of different options. You can give the floor plan a name. I'm just going to leave that blank for now since this is just a video demonstration and I'm going to end up deleting it after the fact anyway. But I just want you to know there are two different types of floor plans that you can add. You can add a flat image or you can add something from Google Maps. There are two different types of floor plans, designer and legacy. And just to keep it simple for this video, we're going to stick with the legacy format. The designer gives you a lot more tools where you can draw walls, specify the material, whether it's brick, glass, drywall, etc. But like I said, for now, we're just going to stick with the legacy format. And we're going to go ahead now and choose our floor plan image. So I have two versions of the floor plan, one as a JPEG and one as a ping. We'll just select the JPEG. You can pick either. And before we go ahead and click the save button to begin the import process, I just want to point your direction down to the lower left hand corner of the screen. There are two options here. There's one that says optimize image size. So if we hover over the information button, it says automatically reduce the size of a large image for better performance. So we'll leave that checked. And you can see here we have an opacity slider where you can just adjust the opacity of the image before it's imported. For now, I'm just going to leave it set to 100. Let's go over and click save. And I'm just going to move it over by clicking and dragging. And then we'll resize it by using the resize buttons. And there you go. So now we have our floor plan imported into the Unify map section. Okay, now that we have the floor plan imported into Unify, the first thing you should do is set the floor plan scale. So I've zoomed into the floor plan so that we can see here under bedroom two, we have a wall here from the outer wall over to the inner closet wall is 12 feet, four and a half inches. Now, I don't know if you can actually see that dimension. It's a little blurred out on my screen, but you're gonna have to trust me on that one. So what we're gonna do is since we know the dimension of point A to point B here. We're just going to come over and we're going to click on set floor plan scale. I'm going to just change this from eaters to feet 
and we're going to draw a line by clicking and dragging. So I'm going to start here on the exterior wall and just drag over to the inner closet wall. Now we know that distance is 12 feet, four and a half inches. So we're going to come over here and now that we have the line drawn, we're going to just input that information in here. So now I'm going to put in 12 feet and I'm going to put in 0.33, which is roughly four and a half inches. It's kind of close enough. And we're going to go ahead and say set scale. So now that we've done that, Unify can actually apply that measurement and figure out the whole dimension of the building itself. Now that we have the floor plan set to scale, I've zoomed back out so we can see the whole floor plan. It's time to start placing our network devices. So let's come over to the place devices icon and click on that. And we can place our adopted devices. So let's do that. So we're running a USG up in the lab. Now I'm up in the bonus room of the home. So I'm going to take this device and I'm going to place it somewhere right around here. And then I'm going to take the US 860 watt switch and place it somewhere in the same vicinity. Now that we have those two devices placed, and mind you, I haven't talked about Wi-Fi yet. I just want to show you something with just these two devices placed in the location. If we come up to the Labels tab, we can add labels to these devices so we can add the name. Actually, let me move this so you can just see the separation here. Let me just move this device here to bedroom number two, just so that you can see between the two what's happening. We can add the MAC addresses. We can add the IP status, IP address of each device, the status, the model information. Let me just zoom out just a little so you can see that. The version of the firmware that the device is running, the uptime, any clients that are connected, the traffic information, and then the channel. And you can actually do them individually have nothing showing. You can have a simple, just the name. You can have a detailed view with just certain parameters, the name, the MAC address, the clients, and the channel. Or like we just did manually, we could have all of the information there. So that's pretty cool if you just want a quick overview of what's going on on your network while you're in the map view. So for now, I'm just going to set this back to none. And we'll just move the US 60 watt back over to the bonus room. All right, guys, now that we have the router and the switch on the floor plan, it's time to play around with placing some of the virtual access points on the map to see what kind of coverage options are available to us. That being said, let's get started. Now, before we place the access points, I just want to say this disclaimer. This is just going to be a visual representation a starting point. This tool is, isn't 100% accurate. I wouldn't base my whole deployment on using this tool. But again, if you're not sure what access points to buy and you want to have a, an idea, just, you know, aside from reading the devices spec sheets, you can actually place them on the map here and kind of get an idea, a rough idea of what the coverage will be. Okay. Now that I've said that, let's come on over to the place devices icon. And let's look at the different types of access points. So for example, let's take a UAP AC light and place it on the map. Let's drop it somewhere in the area here. And let's go down and let's say, well, we want to compare the coverage of putting UAP AC lights in the location versus a UAP AC Pro. So let's drop a UAP AC Pro here in the great room area. Now, Let's start just with that. Let me move that over just a little bit so it's a little bit more centrally located. Now what we can do is come on up to the Layers tab and click on Coverage. And you can see here the coverage options you get with those two access points. Now the nice thing about this is you can move them around to play around with the coverage and see what works best. Or you can actually pick you know, different types of access points. For example, Let's just say you feel that the UAP AC lights not providing enough coverage. You could pretty much delete it, come back over to the place devices. Now we know this is a UAP AC Pro, 
let's take a look at, let's say the UAP ACLR, the long range device, and let's place it here and see what we get. So now you can see the coverage area here of the UAP AC long range is pretty good. So if, let's just take this guy and move this guy here. You can see by doing that, you know, we it is overlapping quite a bit. And again, these bands of coverage could be controlled once you get into the Unify setup and you have your access points installed, you can tweak these bands of coverage just by simply playing with the power output. Also, the other thing to mention too is we're looking right now at the 2G coverage. So if we click over and look at what the 5G band would look like, you see how your coverage options change considerably. So something to keep in mind when you're placing virtual devices on this map. So you can go on and on and on playing with the different access points, playing with the placement on the map, seeing what the coverage looks like both in the 2G and the 5G bands. However, you know, we're not going to do that anymore. I think you kind of get the idea of what this tool offers you. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. And thank you for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. I hope you all stay safe and we'll see you next time.